cup up, up. So every day we show with love, cause love will never fail, no. I tell me better, sister, why you feeling bad? Mistakes are valid, but the feelings never last. We in the present. All right, guys, welcome back. What's the weekend without some weekend eats, right? So having achieved viral fame on social media due to her breadfruit porridge, Tiffany Scott is committed to showcasing the potential of harnessing the health benefits of locally available ingredients and crafting distinctive and delectable dishes. And she's in the house yes. with us today. Hello, lady. How are Hi. you? Hi. Hi, I'm Tiffany. Great. What's I'm up? Great. Tiff, we hear about roast breadfruit, fry breadfruit, Two breadfruit, liver breadfruit porridge, mm -hmm. boiled breadfruit. Yeah. We never heard about breadfruit porridge before. Yes. So yes. one day, what? Your breadfruit went wrong. I said, boy, let's just turn this into a porridge and add some milk. <laughs> no, actually, I've been on a journey since um, after the whole COVID. I've been on a journey with exploring foods, especially since I really don't eat meat. Okay. And I'm a vegan, and my daughter also. She is with me most of the time. So many of the recipes that I've developed is really with engaging our taste buds, just mm -hmm. getting her to enjoy the foods that are healthy. Cause you know, we don't really like eat boring. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, you mentioned healthy. Uh, what are some of the healthy advantages of using these local items? Because, you know, you use a lot of your backyard things. So right. what are some of those healthy advantages? So one of the main advantages, it's easy to find. Like you can find a breadfruit tree everywhere. You don't have to buy a breadfruit. I'm coming here. So do a breadfruit porridge, but pick a breadfruit. So it's, it's, it's readily available. Yeah. And if you're to buy it, it's not very expensive because yeah. it's local. Okay. Now we know that breadfruit don't normally take a long time, you know, to prepare generally. Right. All right, so we're gonna start this process. So we have the breadfruit here. Do we do anything before, like roast it, boil it before we actually no. put it in a blender? You can boil it if you want, but I don't. Oh, okay. you don't? No, what I do though, is make sure that when I'm blending it, I keep the water to a certain level okay. so you get that nice thickness because that is what is going to work. All right, for all right. Porridge. So here what? No, my darling, can we only have a few Okay, minutes. so, so we cut up the breadfruit. Put it into the water. Put it in the water and now we add it to the blender. Yeah, I will blend it. Okay. Blend it up. We may need a little bit more water. It looks a little pasty though. What consistency are we going for? We are going for like a smoothie consistency. Okay. okay. We are not going for a very liquidy consistency. All right. So after we blend, what we're gonna do after this? After we blend? Oh, oh I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you can hear you properly. So we're blending now. Yeah. All right. Let me see if right. we can. So we may need a little bit more water. Okay. okay. Don't think so. You don't no. think so? No. All right. Is your dish enough? So let me put it yeah. like a little bit alone. Yes. Sure. <laughs> And then you're, you're gonna what? Just it make just, sure that. Yeah, it needs to be, be blended a bit more smoothly because you want for it to be nice. Okay, but no more water. No, definitely. Okay. I wouldn't. Okay, all right. All right so, so blending again. Yes. All right. All right. Cover up. There we go. Yes. Okay. So Nicely. <laughs> yes. So, well. Ooh. Well, that has been done. Uh, All right, so after we blend now, what next? Because we have the water, the water is being heated, right? Right, so okay. we're adding the salt, nutmeg, and cinnamon powder. If you have sour sub leaf, you can add it to it. You can add bay leaf to it also. Okay, all right. You know, nice. you're going to make your meal like tiny doses of medicine. Okay, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yes, so you're cooking, and you're, heat, you're eating deliciously, and you're also maintaining balance to your body and maintaining homeostasis yeah You're giving your body what it needs to keep healthy yeah i love that and you know it has been recorded that things like cinnamon even though it's a spice it has a lot of health it benefits been, it right. does when controlling your sugar levels etc right. i'm not a medical professional but <laughs> we, we the information is yeah. out there that's oh, for sure yeah, i smell that it aroma smells amazing yeah so do you allow this now to boil up yes, to any level yes, before you add yes, the yes it should okay. boil i'm just gonna add a little more water gotcha what was your reaction when you saw this whole recipe go viral online though? I was shocked because um, I, I just really just post and forget. Mm -hmm. Post and forget. Yeah. <laughs> I just post and forget. So when I saw, that's fine. When I saw like persons were messaging me and like, oh my God, 
we see your, we see your, um, your recipe, we see this. And yeah. Okay. So have you been getting a lot of requests since that video has gone viral? Um, yes, actually a lot. So it's really now to settle in and see how I'm going to structure And monetize everything right. because people want your breadfruit porridge. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So do you use other interesting, um, you know, products or, or even vegetables or fruits to make yes, porridge? actually I do. <laughs> Not, well, porridge, yes, because I do white yam porridge. White yam porridge. Right. I do the yellow yam porridge and I've just been requested to do like a carrot porridge so I'm looking forward to doing the carrot porridge because that would be a first time no. for me yeah but outside of that I'm, I'm very resourceful when it comes to food and how you flavor it and so for example like banana skin I do like barbecue banana skin barbecue yeah. banana skin yeah that is amazing I've done videos done cooking the banana blossom this Yesterday I did some jackfruit patties. Tiffany has stressed me out. Man, I tell no lie. Yes. Tiffany, you have stressed me right out because so. you you got me at, at white yam porridge. Yeah. <laughs> in my mind, yam not supposed to make yam porridge. Yam just boil like it. <laughs> supposed to make no porridge. Next thing you're going to tell me, say I'm cocoa porridge, and then no me forgot just say boy, well, this is it. This is I it. am open. I am open to trying cocoa porridge because okay. how I select the food it's based on the texture because texture have a lot to do with it. All right. So Tiffany, what else we're gonna do after this? So we're gonna add. I'm just gonna give one more liquor stir. Yeah. And then I'm gonna add it to yeah. the boiling. And then how long? Because we're running out of time, but tell us how long right, will this so be boiling this, for? Um, this will cook for like um, 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. okay. Not long. And remember guys, when you're making a porridge, you always stir until it becomes thicker. You don't want it to be lumpy. That's okay. right. Tell her, tell her please. Tell her please. Thank you so much. You have to stir. Yeah. That's right. right. Once you put it in other pot, mm -hmm. it's going to be nice and thick, but make sure you stir it because you don't want for it to be... Woo! I can smell the bread food coming off of that, my god. Yeah. Okay, so we just keep stirring. Yes, and you allow for okay. it to become nice. All right, so okay. we have a final product right here. It yes. is the end result of this breadfruit mix, and uh, Tiffany has gone ahead to garnish it with some cinnamon powder on top. Do we get to taste it? Do you have a, do you yes. have a spoon? Yes, you should. Thank you so much. Talia, you, you want to taste it? You you have the spoon. Go ahead first. <laughs> you want me to lead? Yeah. Oh, I love your breadfruit porridge. Our it, you know, hello. it looks great and it smells great. I will tell pray you that. As I pray for myself in Jesus' name. Well, Tiffany, while we while we finish the freshly cooked breadfruit porridge, and we can add a little, what's that, on, on a vanilla? Yeah. And a little additional spices just to finish it off. Yes. But she's... She's stirring and stirring. No, it yes. is good. Fact, yes. I am surprised. I ask, I'm sure. You're sure. sure. Which is it? But thank you guys so much for staying with us. We hope you enjoyed the show and have an amazing Saturday. Yes. While we enjoy breadfruit porridge. Exactly. If you plan on going out this weekend, guys, which most of us do, uh, it's going to be a breezy weekend. Remember to party responsibly and stay safe. All right. The thought of the day is do not judge me by my success. Judge me by how many times I fell down and I got back up again, all right? Nelson Mandela said that. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Love and blessings. Please don't let me today. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.